Hi, um, welcome to episode three of Clarence and His House, the farewell season. I'm your host, Clarence Pryor, the host of the most, and um, I feel like I want to do a special episode, like a special tell-all episode before Autism Awareness Month ends uh, this week. Um, I know this is going to be hard for me to do, so I figured I figured I want to do a special tell-all episode. And I thought it was time everyone know about my my disability. I just want to let everyone know that because this is before I came out gay in 2013. So, man, this is going to be hard. Anyway, ever since way back when I was like two years old, I, I never knew that I have a disability um, something like autism disability, like um, some kind of syndrome, like something called Asperger's syndrome and that has something to do with my social awkwardness and um, because it may show my behavior of feeling some anger, some repetitive movements and some other effects because I never talked about it until now and uh, I gotta say it's been really tough for being diagnosed with that Asperger syndrome for years and, I mean when I was two way back I never knew I had it so I just want to say it's been um, I know it's been hard for me living with this disability for years but it's really important to adjust to it and I gotta say, even though I'm wearing blue, my blue tank top, like, I thought I'd do it one more time to before this month ends. I just, I don't know what to say, but it's just that I've been through so much because, you know, I was even bullied having this disability and I feel like I want to fight back. I want to fight for my rights. I want to fight for my rights for disabled rights and for gay rights too. Because for me, as a gay autistic man, I just felt like I wanted to talk about it because it feels like, um, I, I feel like I don't want to hide anything because I don't want to hide about my disability to everyone on YouTube because I feel like it's really the right time something in my heart that's telling me it's time to talk about it and it's been I've been slowly adjusting to it time and time again and I gotta say I admit it feels pretty cool having a disability for years and even though I'm diagnosed with it so for me um, the way I show my courage, my strength, and my uh, ability to develop my social skills, and um, but sometimes I had to make eye contact because it happens sometimes, and because I gotta stop rolling my eyes once in a while. But anyway, sorry. For those of you who have autism and Asperger's syndrome like I did, I gotta thank one actor. I gotta thank one actor who has autism and Asperger's syndrome like I did. And his name is Dan Aykroyd from the hit classic movie Ghostbusters. And he's an amazing actor and he's really inspired so much because if I ever meet Dan Aykroyd, one day, I would like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because I've been watching uh, top 10 inspirational people who have autism and Asperger's syndrome yesterday on Watch Mojo's YouTube, and I think it's really incredible. So, these amazing people from actors to surfers to singers, they're really amazing, even including models, too. But anyway, I just want to say, living with Asperger's syndrome and autism is really, really an amazing for me because I want to live my best life. I want to live my gay life. I want to live my autistic life. I want to live my swimming life too. 
and doing the farewell season on my show will help me do that. So I want to thank you for giving me a time to talk about this. So to, for Autism Awareness Month, I thank you for giving me a time to talk about it. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Of who is your inspirational role model who has autism and Asperger's syndrome? And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Until then, happy Autism Awareness Month. Clarence out.